Hey everyone, Matt Denham back here with another quick video. I wanted to take a couple of minutes to explain the color consistency property within Cognos Analytics dashboards. That's um, one thing that I get a lot of questions about is how the colors are presented from the palettes that have been chosen and assigned to a visualization. So that's what I wanted to take a few minutes to kind of walk everybody through exactly how the color consistency works. So for those not aware, if I go into the properties of the dashboard itself, not individual uh, visualizations, but the dashboard properties. We have this color consistency flag that you can disable if you want, but by default it's turned on. So let's take a look at what that does as I build a visualization. So the first one I'll throw on is simple pie chart, because um, I think that's going to illustrate what I'm trying to do fairly quickly here. So I'm going to, it doesn't really matter which uh, palette you choose, I've got uh, a palette that I like here. It's the Carbon X palette. So let's take a look at the values or members that are going to appear as my, the segments in my pie. I've got four countries. So what I should expect to see are the first four colors chosen here or, or used from my palette moving left to right. So I'm going to add country as segment and it doesn't really matter which measure I use. So now as I go back to my properties, I see purple, blue, green, and this kind of maroon, kind of clockwise around the pie. So that makes sense. Now I'll add another visualization on, let's take a pie chart, or sorry, a bar chart. And similar process here, it doesn't matter which measure I use, but I'm gonna add the same field to color. Uh, once I add the, again, pick the correct palette. Now, if I go to populate my color by with country, here the color consistency is making sure that when I'm eyeballing, say, United Kingdom as blue, it's going to maintain the same color through all of the different visualizations that I've added to my dashboard. Right? So this way, as I'm just glancing, we can see upon each visualization uh, the same color, I get the consistency across, and I'm not comparing apples to apples by mistake as I'm looking at the different colors. So moving on from there, if I create a column chart, and again, I'm going to flip the palette. Now, let's pick a different field. If I look at education, it has one, two, three, four, five values. So I would expect that it's going to pick the, you know, the color starting with peach here because the first four colors have already been assigned to these four, in this example, countries. So let's drop education on and it should go kind of from that peach color um, going from there. And again, it doesn't matter. I don't think what um, pick as my measure. So you can kind of see that here. I'll just try to make it a little bit bigger. And flip back over to the property. So here I'm going to see got kind of peach, maroon, green, dark blue, and pink moving across. Right. So it's taken the first four colors and assigned those to the the first visualization that I chose. Then it's going to pick the next one so that I'm not comparing just eyeballing this you know uh, confusing bachelor with Germany or something like that. Right. That's the the point of that property. Now, just as easily, if I delete that and I go back into advanced, I remove that color consistency flag. Now I'll go back and sort of do the same, the same process that I had just done. Pick my palette. And now I'm just gonna start adding the same thing. So in this case, I took quantity, I think, as the measure. Let's try and keep that consistent. And now I'm going to color this by education again. You can see that now that I've disabled the color consistency, it, it's just gone right to the beginning. So it's gone purple, blue, green, uh, mauve, and then uh, or maroon, and then pink. And so, like I said, it's going to start at the left, go all the way to the to the right, um, and then as there's duplicates, of course, once I've run out of uh, color swatches to assign to members or values. 
um, it'll just start from the beginning. But that's that's the idea behind color consistency. So if you don't want the colors to behave um, with consistency in mind, just disable it and you're good to go. Uh, otherwise, keep it on and you'll see it uh, the, the, the same members or values um, keep that same color throughout your dashboard. I hope that clears up any confusion or, or um, helps people understand exactly how that works. As always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks again.